people that do it for any other reason, maybe trying to be indirect about it, in my opinion, are missing the mark. The anti-whites have come out in the open and they're saying we are attacking whites because they're white. Now we need to respond and say, okay, we'll defend as whites because we're white. That is the direct and the only effective defense. Head-on defense, in my opinion. Indirect things are not as effective if they're in the anti-white narrative. So, and why do why do these things take real courage to do, to defend whites openly and explicitly? Because, as we all know, whites are truly being attacked by the entire society at large, the entire media, every institution, worldwide. What takes true cur what takes true courage is to defend whites outside of the anti-white narrative. That's what takes real courage these days, is to be outside of the anti-white narrative. That's the really courageous thing. Because that defends whites effectively. Effectively. And makes us the good the good guys. anything, even defending whites, honestly and genuinely, inside the anti-white narrative, doesn't take as much courage as doing it outside the anti-white narrative. Why? The anti Because the anti-white narrative is defeated, so it is not really much of a threat to the anti-whites, therefore it does not bring the possibility of as much of their wrath upon us. If you want to talk about danger and risk, it would be, in a sense, more stepping outside the anti-white narrative. Stepping outside the anti-white narrative and into our white positive narrative takes more bravery because it is effective. It challenges the anti-white narrative, which is a, 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 an empire, the anti-white empire that they've spent centuries building, if not more. So they are threatened by people who step outside the anti-white narrative. The, the, the narrative for them is everything, and they will do anything and everything to protect that. So when we step outside of it and use our narrative, it is a real threat to their anti-white narrative. And they truly are concerned about it. And they truly will use any and all measures that they have available. And we know they have a lot available uh, to use against us in every way imaginable worldwide they can bring very severe consequences consequences against whites who step outside the anti-white narrative because they are truly threatened by that why are they truly threatened by that because Stepping outside the anti-white narrative and into our white positive narrative is actually effective for us. It actually helps white people. Remember, that's what they want to avoid at all costs. Anything that will truly work for the betterment of whites, truly help the condition of white people as a whole. If it truly does that, 
don't want it, and they will truly fight it with everything they have. Doing anything, even with the intent of helping whites inside the anti-white narrative, they are not threatened by. Why? Because it does not truly help whites, even if the intent is there. It results in harm to whites, it allows whites to be harmed, therefore, they're not threatened by it, they don't really mind. So, it's not truly the rebellious thing to do. Doing something that is truly rebellious, truly defiant, truly courageous, as we all know, is stepping outside of the anti-white narrative, defending whites effectively with our white positive narrative. Truly helping the well-being of whites. That is what takes real and true bravery and courage you know, if, if this guy with a Confederate flag would have had a flag that said no white guilt on it, like I put up on the truck <laughs> at that truck stop before, that would be truly brave. That would be truly going against the, the anti-white system. That would be truly helping white people. Doing it right, doing it effectively. It's cons- 
continue letting others know how to do it properly and effectively. Let's continue spreading the good word, folks. And on that note, finally close it out here. It's probably going to be a part two right here. Um, so I love y'all. God bless each and every one. Stay strong, stay white proud, white protective, and white free. Let's keep saving our kind as whites of the West. I will see y'all soon. Fellow Apostles, Blue Ninja signing off. To all the other Blue Ninjas and Apostles out there. Amen and hallelujah. Praise the Lord.